This bold plan had one major drawback. The resulting craft was massive. The Cassini spacecraft is the largest interplanetary satellite that NASA has ever built and launched. The big problem was how to get this five and a half ton Leviathan into space. The most powerful rocket on Earth, the mighty Titan IV, was selected for launch, delivering over 3.9 million pounds of thrust. But even this would not be enough. Because this massive spacecraft didn't just have to get into space. It had to travel over a billion miles. All the way to Saturn. The only way to travel this vast distance would be with a little help from the planets. The energy that we needed to get out in the solar system, out to the planet Saturn, had to be supplemented by, uh, partially provided by gravitational encounters with the planets. The important thing is to gather energy from the gravity of the planet you're flying by. So Cassini was routed via the Earth's nearest neighbor, Venus. This planet's gravitational pull would accelerate Cassini increasing its speed by over 8,000 miles per hour. But this would still not be enough. Cassini would return for a second boost from Venus. The Earth would then accelerate Cassini, flinging it out further toward its next rendezvous, Jupiter. The probe would then speed up to 50,000 miles per hour before reaching its final destination, Saturn. Coming up, communication failures threaten the entire